Hey everyone, so I just received a new Pop Basic box in my mail box. Does that make sense? I don't know. So I thought I would do an appropriate kind of makeup look to go with the outfit and I show you both pink lips and nude lips because I know I did a similar-ish look with pink lips before. Kind of similar. I don't know. But anyway, if you want to see how to go from the left to the right, just stay tuned. The outfit in this Pop Basic box was quite Classy. It has a longer skirt which I'm not really used to but I'm absolutely in love with so I thought I would do something quite dramatic to kind of dress the outfit up um, so it's perfect for like a classier kind of outfit for a night out with your girls or whatever you want to wear it to, you know. I really felt like doing super dramatic makeup so I'm starting with the eyes today so that we don't get fallout all over our foundation. I don't know why I felt like doing something so dramatic, I was just really in the mood so I'm just going to roll with it. I'm starting with concealer all over my eyelids just to prime and then I'm going to go onto my brows. Lately I've been really loving this technique, I take the wax from the brow bar to go and just run that all over my brows just to kind of stick the hairs down so there's no like flyaway little straggly bits. And then I'll take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, I just forgot what that was called for a second, and just draw in my eyebrows after that and fill them in nicely. I just find that the brows look quite a bit more natural when you do it this way rather than really blocky and filled in. It kind of just looks like hair strokes more than anything. I don't know. Now I am taking a piece of sticky tape and I'm using this to get a really nice harsh kind of line to my eyeshadow. I don't want it to be really blended on that kind of line I guess so yeah this is just going to help me get a really precise line. And then I'm going to take a dark greyish black and I'm going to apply that to the outer V with a blending brush. Now I'm just highlighting my brow bone and then what I'm going to do is take a bit of a lighter grey and I'm just going to blend that black up. Since this is so dramatic I really actually wanted to go quite high up to the brow bone, um, to the eyebrow I guess. So yeah I'm just blending that upwards and then I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Paparazzi pigment and I'm applying it wet. All I do is take a setting spray and a small brush and then I just spray the setting spray into the lid and then just wet my brush that way and dip it into the pigment and then dip it onto my eyeshadow. I mean, my eyelid. That makes more sense. Now that the majority of the eyeshadow is done, I'm just going to take a wet wipe and wipe away any fallout and then move on to my foundation. So I'm just using a primer first of course just to make sure that the makeup lasts a really long time and goes on nice and smooth and then I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow because I'm loving this again lately. It's just such an amazing formula and such good coverage. So yeah, I'm just going to put this all over my face and magically the eye makeup will all of a sudden not look so crazy. <laughs> You've got a smile that kills me Your stare is so misleading You're so beautiful You know that all that you do Takes this heart, makes it be for you Now just to warm up the look a little bit, I'm taking a warm brown and I'm just running that into the crease kind of where that black ends and just blending it up so it's super dramatic. It looks really crazy at the moment, I know, but it looks a little bit better once you put on your lashes and everything. You know how it is. 
After that, I am going to take a light silver and I'm going to put this on my inner corner and kind of on the inner part of the lid. Um, just to kind of add a bit of a pop of colour and I just love the silver. It makes it look really dramatic and fun. Now for my eyeliner, I'm using a deep black, super dark, super creamy eyeliner on my waterline and tightline. And then I'm taking the silver, it's like a black glitter eyeliner with silver glitters in it. It looks really cool once it's all on. I'm just doing like a winged eyeliner look with this and you can see that silver glitter it just looks really intense and really cool. You could just use plain black if you don't want it to be as outrageous but I was just going all out today as you can tell. And then I'm also going to elongate that inner corner as well. I am using the most dramatic eyelashes from my eyelash line EXO Beauty, they're called the Gold Digger. So first of course just putting on some mascara and then popping those on on top. If I had to marry one of my makeup products, it would probably be this. My favourite bronzer in the entire world. So I'm just going to contour and bronze up my skin at the moment. And then I'm going to go onto my lips. So on my lips. This first clip I accidentally deleted, so I'm going back and showing you what I used. This is a really light pastel kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a lilac pink. And then this is a really bright pink. And I put the lighter color on the inner corner, or inner lip, I should say, not inner corner. And then the bright pink on the outside. And then I used this lip liner by MAC just to kind of brighten up the outside and make a kind of ombre effect if that makes any sense at all but anyway i'm going to list these products down below and it's really cool because you can buy both of those lipsticks and then some of that money actually goes towards the breast cancer foundation of new zealand so i'll put that information down below now i'm taking a foundation and going over my lips just to matte out that lip color i had i guess well my natural lips Blah, i can't talk um and then i'm taking this peachy kind of lip liner by nyx and outlining my lips and then i'm taking this burberry lipstick which by the way is so overpriced for what it is i don't actually like it that much i like the color but i mean it was like a million dollars and then this lipstick by nyx called india on the middle i'm just really liking this lip combo so that's how that looks but i wanted my lips to look even poutier and kind of go with the eyes since they're quite I don't know, like, it kind of reminds me of like bedroom eyes, so I wanted the lips to look really cool and kind of pouty and stuff. So I'm using a dark lip liner underneath my lip just to make them look really pouty and big. It's a really good trick. Now for the outfits. I'm not going to wear a robe out, so we're going to get changed. I am using this, or well, wearing, not using, this month's Pop Basic box. And I thought it would be useful to show you what's in each box. So it comes with the collection name card, whatever you want to call it. So that's the Ashbury collection. And then you also get a card with each item on it and a little description. And each box typically comes with three different items. And it also comes with a care card, which is really good because I'm useless with this kind of thing, to be honest. And it also comes with a couple of extras this month. It came with a little buy one get one free card for the website, which is really cool. And also this kind of like perfume collection thing, which is really unique. I've never seen anything like this before. I thought it was really cool. And then of course you get your items, your main items. So this one came with a necklace in this cute little pouch. This necklace is amazing. I'm actually really obsessed with this right now. I'm loving silver diamante kind of necklaces right now so it's perfect. And it also comes with a really nice singlet top, which is really good quality. I was kind of like, oh, just a singlet, but no, it's actually really nice. And then it comes with the staple kind of piece, I guess, which is the vegan leather skirt. And it's got these really nice details on it too.
my fragrance of the day is this new Untold by Elizabeth Arden. It's the new edition. I'll write some info down below if you're interested. I love this and it's so classy smelling so I thought it was perfect with this outfit even though the makeup is super dramatic. Um, and then these shoes from Daily Look and this is how the outfit looks. It's something I wouldn't normally go for so it was quite cool trying it out in a new box if that makes sense. Like getting something that I wouldn't normally style. I thought it was really nice just for like office wear or something like that. Obviously if you're wearing it in the office you would tone it down the makeup and maybe ditch the neck for something a bit more simple but I really like it and for like a night out after work with the girls or something I like this outfit and makeup look and everything. This would also be really really good for like you know meeting the parents or like a nice dinner out with your family or something it's so cute it's so feminine so cute but still really nice and reserved because it does have that length in the skirt it's nice and classy so I really like this look obviously you know you can change up the makeup with the outfit but I just thought I'd put this together something quite cool and different I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you really really soon see you rave I don't even know whatever outfit clubbing dancing all of that kind of thing you know what I'm saying so I was fucking around I'm fucking around um are you from you're from oh I don't know are you not from Palmy? yeah I am you are you made me think you were from somewhere else like Wanganui or Woodville <laughs> what kind of cake would you bake me on my birthday